Hey guys, this is the Lego Detective, and um, today I'm going to be doing a magic binder, so yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to upload this video, as well as the other video when I first got these cards like three days ago, as well as another video when I found this other really, really awesome card um, today, because I'm really lazy, and last night I was really lazy. So, um, just sorry, but, so yeah, this was, I got it for free off of Craigslist, my mom found it, and the guy came over, he was really nice, and he gave me these binders, so, the binder was originally filled with just, like, junk commons, not that it's bad, but I didn't want them in the binder, so I actually took them and put them in this binder, which is now completely filled with commons and uncommons, and this binder is where I keep my hollows, my rares, and my other special stuff, because the binder was getting too big, so I had to clear it out and stuff this binder is really really small so um yeah on the first page we have some from 2003 it'll focus let's try this one there we go it's 2002 2003 2002 so yeah and this is just a card that i like and this is like sort of like a full art card because it has like this stuff was like just sticking out and stuff so I thought that it was kind of cool. And it's a hollow too, so I just stuck it in there. Um, next we have um, my hollow land. So we have hollow swamps, hollow mountain, hollow island, and hollow plains. And then we have, this actually sort of split, but it's actually kind of good because this is like a different section. So we have Urza's mine, Urza's tower, and Urza's power plant. And on the back we have Urza's factory and some Japanese card that I found. And then down here we have some hollow forests. Then over here we have some special lands. As you can see here, we have subterranean hangar, tainted isle. No, oh, never mind. Ice flow, sea floor debris, debris, lonely sandbar, ravaged highlands, abandoned outpost, and school of the unseen. I'm not sure if any of these are rare, but those are like all of the older ones that I have. Um, and then we have to, just some cards from beta. So we have three spell blasts, blue ward, white ward, swords of plowshares, and living artifacts. Now we just have my hollows. I'm just going to quickly flip through those. And we just have some rares from this. If mythics were introduced in this set, then I actually think that these could be mythics because they're really, really red. They're like pink, even. And then we just have my other rares that I have. And uh, just get the just to get this right, um, I have never ever bought a pack of magic cards. These are just all the cards that I got for free. Then we have my artifact creatures old versions of them like with like the brown coloring in the back and then the newer versions of the artifact creatures with the gray coloring in the back and then the old versions of the artifact I'm just gonna show them off and then a lot of other ones And then the new versions of the artifact. And I have this hollow scepter of empires. And then I have these sort of things that you would like put the counters on it. So this is, um, it says you put a 1 1 green stink creature token into play. If you control 10 or more creatures, you flip it. And then when you flip it, it becomes Shiraco Broodmistress. And then you sacrifice a creature. You're probably just going to sacrifice the one of the 1 1 snake creatures. And target creature gets plus 3 plus 3. And then we have. Faithful Scott Squire, whenever you play a spirit or arcane spell, you put a key counter. If there are two or more, you flip it, and then it becomes... I'm not sure if these are legal in Commander, because technically they are legendary creatures. Um, Kaiso Memory of Lordies, you can move a key counter 
all damage that would be dealt to it, you could prevent prevent all damage. And then this one is we have Nazumi Grave Robber. You remove a target card in an opponent's graveyard from the game. If no cards are in that graveyard, then you get to flip it. And then when you flip it, it says put target creature in the graveyard into play under your control. So yeah, pretty cool. And then we have like these uh, sort of double instants in one. So we have trial and error, order and chaos, wax and wane, dead and gone. And I actually have two more of those in one of my decks that I made. And rough and tumble. One of them is hollow, one of them is not. Next, we have some sort of interesting full art sort of cards, like just massive ghouls just looks so cool and like the mana cost is on the side and i think that's really interesting um and then there's whip spine drake flowstone embrace and two thorn world archers and then we have my really old land like the really old ones that just say like a t and then shows you like turning it sideways so we have forests swamps plains mountains islands and then another forest that I just had to put somewhere. So uh, that is my um, binder. Um, remember, these are all cards that I got for free, which I think that that's insane. And then I also have, like, Chase Brewer, just to show that off. I found that, and it's in one of my decks now that I built. My blue deck, my mono blue. Um, and, uh, yeah, bye.